Next to Graham, we have Lois Larson, who is the Interim Financial Aid Director at Metropolitan State. Um, followed by Melvin Carter III, who is currently a St. Paul City Council member. And um, end of the table, Kathy Lantry, who is our City Council President and lifelong East Sider at Ward 7 resident. So with that, I will start with um, Graham, if you'd like to share your um, remarks, and we can go down the table accordingly. Then I'll step back up and help facilitate some questions. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Trenda, um, President Hammerschmidt, uh, Metropolitan State, for having me here today. Um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to come and talk to a community as well as a, uh, the video camera and all the students that might be watching. So I uh, just want to make a few comments about uh, the importance of census and how it relates to higher education. Um, in my role working for the Minnesota State University Student Association, uh, it's an organization that represents uh, the 70,000 state university students in Minnesota. Um, it's student-run, student-led, uh, and one of, one, of our, uh, one of the many things that we do at our association is work on civic, civic, civic engagement, um, really trying to get out there, get students informed, motivated, and involved in their community uh, and on the issues that affect them. And uh, so we're very uh, excited to be involved in census projects this year and uh, it does uh, although it may seem that uh, some of the filling out the census stuff may not you know seem a lot of the words we've heard from students you know is, uh, you know why should I care how, how would this affect me uh, what does it matter when a person filling out the census uh, I think uh, Mayor Coleman kind of alluded to the fact that there's a lot of money for this community that has been undercounted um, and so when talking with students you kind of dig deeper because I <coughs> fill out one piece of paper how that would make someone's life different and uh, some of the, the kind of uh, peripheral ways that it impacts at least the students' uh, life and anyone in this community um, are that, uh, you know, I'll just go through a couple points and try to make this quick, but uh, employers uh, and businesses often use census data um, when determining whether or not to locate in a certain area. Um, if uh, St. Paul, um, you know, uh, was, would have had a very accurate count, a lot of people would look, at, would look at the metropolitan state area and say, we have a lot of great graduates, um, a lot of uh, well-trained students. Opportunities for businesses to come in the area will be increased if they can look at data and say that this is this is an area where we have a highly skilled workforce, um, where we have a lot of people that would be uh, a great match uh, for working in our business. Um, other couple of things: uh, there's various uh, federal programs uh, that determine uh, uh, federal assistance uh, for uh, student loan purposes um, and student grants. Uh, that uh, some 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 programs are based upon population of a certain area, um, especially. For, for uh, students that are uh, underrepresented um, or uh, counted potentially in, in the higher education world, uh, there are some there's some money that makes a difference that could potentially bring in more money uh, for Metropolitan State for its programs. Um, and another thing, uh, Mayor Coleman also referred to this is if, if we could, we're on the cusp of losing a, 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 a congressional seat, uh, a, another voice at the, at the federal level that could be advocating on behalf of of this community and Metropolitan State. Uh, Every year, um, uh, advocates, uh, student advocates uh, at MSUSA as well as the campus work on, on trying to get uh, federal programs uh, to enrich the educational uh, experience <coughs> at our campus. If we potentially lose one more voice that could advocate for things that we've worked on this year is uh, things for a, a new faculty model for addressing nursing shortage. It's a million dollars that we're looking for from the federal government to help support our nursing program on this campus. Um, there's also advanced dental hygiene practitioner uh, demonstration project that would also kind of help invigorate the, the dental program on campus. That's another million dollars. Um, a lot of these decisions and calculations of who should receive money from the federal government obviously come uh, from census information and making sure that we also have another voice at, at the federal level that's advocating on behalf of us in the community. Um, um, and other things, and students saying, you know, why is this important? Why does this make a difference? It's not necessarily that your, your, your uh, Metropolitan State University is going to receive all this money. But there's, there's money that goes to uh, our communities, uh, improving uh, the area within our communities. Uh, things like uh, where, where should new schools be uh, or, uh, developed, uh, what kind of transportation needs uh, do we have, um, what kind of hospitals and child care, and all these things that, that, that impact someone's life, not just a student, uh, are important and uh, depend uh, in, 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 good, in good portion uh, on what the census information is. So, from what we're trying to do as an association, besides help uh, come to events like these and, and talk to students around around uh, the state, is uh, that uh, we're, we've, uh, we're collaborating with uh, the U.S. Census Bureau and the local 
Minnesota chapters.